have you been told you've got osteoporosis or maybe osteopenia and you're not really sure what that means? Well, you're definitely not alone. I'm Dr. Sophie GP and in this video, I'll explain what's going on with your bones, how to protect them and what treatment actually helps. Let's make it simple. What is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is when your bones become thinner and weaker. It doesn't usually cause pain or symptoms, but it makes your bones more likely to break, even just from small falls or knocks. The most common places people break are the hip, the wrist, or the spine. And you might also hear the term osteopenia. And this just means your bones are a bit thinner than normal, but you're not quite osteoporosis yet. So who gets it? Well, osteoporosis is common as we get older, especially in women after the menopause, but it can affect anyone. Things that make it more likely include a family history, being very slim, smoking, drinking too much alcohol, not getting enough calcium or vitamin D, some health conditions like celiac or thyroid problems, or taking steroids for a long time. So even if you feel well, if you have any of those risks, it's worth knowing about. So you might be thinking, how would I know if I have osteoporosis? And this is the tricky bit. Osteoporosis doesn't usually cause symptoms until a bone breaks. Some people might notice they're getting shorter or their posture's changing, and this can be a sign of tiny fractures in the spine. How do we diagnose it? If your doctor thinks you might be at risk, they might ask you a few questions and pop your details into a calculator. We use one called like Frax, and this helps us work out your risk. If it's high, then we might send you for a scan called a DEXA scan. This checks how strong your bones are. We get a result called a T-score, and a low score means your bones are weaker than they should be. So what can you do to help? Well, here's the good news. There is lots you can do to help your bones no matter what your age. So try to do regular weight-bearing exercise like walking, dancing, or light weights. Eat calcium-rich foods like dairy, leafy greens, or fortified cereals. Get vitamin D, ideally from sunshine, or if not, a daily supplement. And stop smoking and keep alcohol to a minimum. That's important. It doesn't have to be perfect, but small changes can really help over time. What about medication? If your bones are very thin or you've had a fracture already, so you've had a broken bone, your doctor might talk to you about starting treatment. The most common one we use is a tablet called alandronic acid. This helps, from, this helps stop your bones getting weaker and reduces your risk of fractures. But you have to take it the right way. This is very important. So you have to take it first thing in the morning with a big glass of water and then you have to stay upright, no laying down, and you can't eat or drink anything else for about 30 minutes after you've taken it. There are other options too, like an injection or hormone treatments if they suit you better, um, but your doctor will help you choose the right one. If you already have osteoporosis, so even if you've already been diagnosed, there's loads you can do. Keeping active can stop things getting worse. So just because you've got osteoporosis, that certainly doesn't mean that you can't get on with your daily activities and daily life. Some people are referred for a falls assessment to make sure your home is safe and your balance is steady. That can really reduce the risk of future breaks. If you've been told you've got osteoporosis or you're at risk, please don't panic. It's common, it's treatable and you're not alone. Thank you for watching and take care of your bones. Have a look at my other videos. I am Dr. Sophie GP. I'm here to help you understand your health and feel more in control. See you next time.